everybody. This is uh, Poker Burrow Francisco here. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I got back from the World Series of Poker. Um, spent 10 days out there. Uh, had a pretty good time. <laughs> Results weren't the best in the world. Uh, but hey, went, played. Like I said, had a good time. Saw a bunch of the professionals out there. A um, couple uh, last week, uh, Daniel Negreanu, who does a great video log, uh, doing a daily update of what's going on at the World Series for him. Uh, on one of the video logs, he talked about how it, sometimes it's really difficult for him to play in some of the bigger field events, uh, really because you got a lot of people that idolize him and you know he's a famous guy in the poker world and they all want to get you know selfies or chat with them or probably get autographs i don't know so it could be pretty draining to have all that attention uh when you're trying to play poker um i was out there and like i said i saw some of the people that uh, i've seen on tv but i'm not an autograph chaser i'm not someone who's going to bother them um, but I just think it's kind of funny. Uh, some of, some of the situations where I saw some of the people, uh, saw Phil Helmuth walking down the hallway, uh, Eric Seidel, same hallway, same spot, uh, right near the elevators at the horseshoe, uh, where I had a room, uh, saw both of them, uh, saw Michael Misraki, uh, walking down from Paris towards horseshoe. Um, so I saw him make that same walk twice, actually. Um, Joe Ketta. Uh, previous youngest World Series of Poker main event winner. Uh, I was actually next to him at Sabaros. <laughs> uh, he was getting some food, and uh, I was literally this far away from him, getting a slice of pizza. And I easily could have said something to him, but I left him alone. You know, he, he was just getting food. I don't know if he was on a break or whatever, but uh, yeah, Joe Cata and I were uh, elbow to elbow at Sabaros. Uh, who was I see? David the Dragon Fam. Um, some of the younger people out there probably don't know David the Dragon Fam, uh, but I remember him, and some of the older school guys probably do. I rode the elevator with him, me and him, the only two guys in the elevator. <laughs> I didn't say a word to him, uh, you know, respected the space. Uh, cool guy. Um, for some reason, I've always liked that, that, uh, that guy, David Dragon Fam. Uh, so I <laughs> rode the elevator with him uh kind of england um she's actually hails from my hometown uh evanston illinois i believe although i don't know a whole lot of information on her other than she was the uh, mspt player of the year uh i've seen her a few times uh at some of the you know circuit events some mspt events um don't know too much about her game um not a, not a huge fan of hers from just what I've seen of her with some of the people she hangs out with and some of her behavior. Um, yeah, she, she, <laughs> she needs to be careful out there. I, 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 she's, she's not putting out the best impression of herself when she's out in public. Um, at least not from the few times that I've seen her. Uh, Ashley Sleeth. Uh, she, uh, they're poker professional anyway. Uh, she, she does a good video log and, um, I saw her, uh, <laughs> waiting in line or debating whether to wait in line, uh, for one of the events. Oh, she's a tiny little thing. I, she looks a lot taller or bigger, uh, on the, on her video logs, but yeah, she's a, she's a tiny little thing, but she does a great video log. Um, and I wish her luck in her current quest. She's trying to take, I think it was 20K to 100K. Um, but yeah. anyway, so those are some of the people that uh, I saw during the World Series of Poker. And uh, I'm sure there was a few that I bumped across that didn't recognize. Uh, <laughs> there was a $100 small quick tourney at the horseshoe that I played in where I literally sat at a table where there was two people there with World Series poker bracelets, older gentlemen. I had no idea who they were, but I just thought it was funny. That was a hundred dollars scrub tournament. And these two guys sporting, you know, World Series of poker bracelets uh, were playing in it. <laughs> and then I have no idea who they were, but uh, all right. So on with this video, uh, really just kind of recapping some of the action and some of the things that happened uh, at the World Series for me. 
Um, I got a real kick out of one of the promos uh, that they had at the series where they basically replicated the winning table with all the money from, I believe, last year. And you could go take a selfie with it. Uh, so I took a selfie, put it up here, <laughs> and uh, my Facebook blew up when people congratulating me. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord. I knew something like that was going to happen as, as soon as I posted it, that it was going to fool some people. Um, so then I had to go tell everyone, hey, this is this is not real. It's fake, whatever. <laughs> my own sister uh, called my wife real early in the morning <laughs> thinking that I'd want all this money. Uh, so, But I had, I had a good kick out of it. But, um, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> All right. I will hopefully produce some more detailed videos of what's going on uh, at, at this point in, in my poker career. I'm in a rebuild phase. Uh, the series, again, didn't go very hot. I had one cash, a 13th place in an Omaha 8 stud 8 uh, tournament. And uh, I blew up on that that. Yeah, uh, I really should have probably finished in the top five, but uh, I I choked at the end. I gave my money away. Um, but then I looked at the results and the people that I played against. Yeah, <laughs> these were stud, stud eight Omaha eight specialists. You know, uh, they have many many caches uh, between them for the, the last five or six people on there. It's like all they seem to play. <laughs> Not too many caches in other games, but a bunch in stud eight, Omaha eight. So definitely played against some tough competition. So I, I, I should be happy, and, and I am, that I cashed on that one. Um, but a few other stuff, boy. People of the World Series, uh, many of them are walking around with the horseshoes up their butt. Um, you know, they must have caught the leprechaun at the end of the late rainbow because, wow, uh, <laughs> you definitely got to dodge the, the luck boxes, uh, and there are many of them out there, and I unfortunately ran into a bunch of them, uh, which uh, led to my demise in, in many of the tournaments, but um, going forward, I don't know, we're, 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 uh, we're, we're struggling at this point, uh, is the best thing to say. Um, I'm going to go back and compile some of the records that I have about prior years just to kind of get a better idea or look at uh, my overall poker progression and see if uh, if I should be hanging in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so the poker can be such a tough game to play. Uh, but I'm hanging in right now, but I've got to evaluate everything and see where we want to go and um, try to keep the channel alive. So. All right. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, just wanted to ramble a little bit about uh, the the general World Series, uh, a poker you know tour that I did. Um, obviously, this video is a little bit of shorter details. I'm just rambling. Anyway, bye. <laughs>